in this video, I thought it was time to do a little refresher on Amazon affiliate AWS keys. Wow, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? What, what an exciting video this is gonna be. But it's a needed video, I know that much, because it's something that comes up a lot on the forums, on the live chats, in the comments, is that people have problems setting up their Amazon keys and getting them to work and getting them to kind of download products, which is what you want them for. So this video is for people that are running WooZone and an Amazon affiliate site, or possibly other plugins similar to WooZone, where you're using Amazon keys, Amazon API keys, to download products to create your Amazon affiliate site. So I'm just gonna go through the basics in this video, um, creating your keys, adding them to WooZone, and downloading a product. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. And uh, before I start today, I'd just like to say, if you're not already subscribed, then please do click the subscribe button. It's, it's down there somewhere. Uh, we'd love to have you on board and click the little bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Well, now that's out the way, let's get on with the good stuff. So as I said, this video is all about Amazon AWS API keys. These are like long strings of letters and numbers that you need in order to download products using a plugin like WooZone. Now, if you're already running WooZone and it's all working, then this video is probably not for you. Go and watch something else, see you later. But if you are having problems with your AWS keys, maybe you get an error message when you try and connect to Amazon, or maybe your products aren't downloading properly or at all, then there's probably an issue with your keys and you're gonna wanna go and check them. So this video is just purely me setting up some keys from scratch. I mean, I have gone through this before in my tutorial videos, but this one's up to date, it uses the new Amazon Associates kind of look and feel dashboard. And yeah, it's just the basic stuff of creating keys and adding them to WooZone and downloading some products. So let's get on the computer and I'll show you. Okay, so I am over at shoppowertools.com, which is an Amazon affiliate website that I created in a previous tutorial quite some time ago now, but I'll put links in the description and in cards so that you can find that video if you'd like to create a site just like this. It uses the Flatsome theme and it's running WooZone and it's been a little bit neglected actually, if I'm honest with you guys. And yeah, I haven't done much work on it for quite some time. So I came over today and I noticed that there was a few things that weren't working and it needed a bit of updating and, and that kind of thing. And it also needed its keys adjusting, they weren't working, probably because I deleted them ages ago and whatever. So I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to kind of show you, um, you know, all about the keys because it's an area that a lot of people seem to get stuck on when they're following my tutorials. They have issues with their keys not working and they can't import products, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do it from uh, scratch as it were and we're gonna get some keys, we're gonna put them in and we'll download a product or two and, and get that all working. So, um, so it should be good if it all goes well. Now in this tab up here, I've got my Amazon Associates account. In fact, I've just signed up right now because uh, I needed to register for um, a US Amazon account, which I didn't have, or maybe I had a while back and they shut it down, I don't know, something, it wasn't there anymore. So brand new um, Amazon account, went through the, the sign up process, you know, went to amazon.com, scrolled down to the footer, clicked on um, become an affiliate, filled in the form, filled in all my tax stuff, and all that thing that you need to fill in, you know, there's quite a lot to fill in. But anyway, once you do and you, you're, you're done, you get this screen and you're kind of signed up as an associate and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna leave that in that tab, uh, right there and let's go back into Shop Power Tools and let's go into WooZone and just fill in um, the keys and, and stuff like that and see if we can get that working. So uh, I've logged in as you can see and I'm gonna go into uh, WooZone, and Amazon Config. Okay. So what we need to do is add our access keys. So first thing you wanna check is your Amazon location. So which country of Amazon are you gonna be promoting? Is it amazon.com? Is it amazon.co.uk? Is it amazon.de? Is it you know amazon.wherever? You need to get that clear in your mind and you need to think where are you gonna be pulling the products down from? Um, because there's different products on different countries, Amazons, you need to be aware of that. And now, if you sign up for many different Amazons, that's fine, you can do that, and uh, WooZone will kind of show the availability to your visitors uh, of the products you know, in different Amazon stores, so that's fine. But generally, most people are focused on just one Amazon, whether it's amazon.com, amazon.co.uk, etc. 
So the first thing to do is make sure that this is correct. And um, you do need to sign up, as I say, with each individual Amazon. So if you are gonna be promoting amazon.com and amazon.co.uk, you need to fill in a form to become an affiliate on amazon.com and you need to fill in a form to become an affiliate on amazon.co.uk. Otherwise, uh, one or the other is not gonna work. And you also need to be approved um, by both of those um, sites. Now, Amazon have just bought in a new thing called OneLink, which I've not really used. So I may do a video on that soon. But looking at it, it looks like um, you can kind of link your accounts. But um, yeah, I think you do need to um, make sure that you're still signed up with those different countries, whatever. I, I need to look into it in a bit more detail. I'm not gonna talk about it too much uh, more. In fact, I've probably said too much already. <laughs> anyway, so let's go back. So I, this site, shoppowertools.com, is supposed to be a US focused site or at least a globally focused site. So I'm gonna be using US as my location. So we need to enter our keys. To get your keys, you go back into your Amazon Associate Central dashboard thing, you go to Tools and you go to Product Advertising API. And here we go. Now I'm gonna click on Manage Credentials. I'm not sure what that Migrate button is. I'm gonna leave that as it is. And we've got this message here. It says that I'm kind of using the main account. You should use users, so let's do that. I'm gonna click Get Started with IAM Users. Um, I've got a couple here that are already running. As you can see, let's create a new one by clicking add user. I'm gonna call it shop power tools. Stop, I mean shop even, <laughs> power tools. That way I know what it is. And then I'm gonna tick that I want pro programmatic, programmatic. Yep, that's my reading coming along well. And that's it, I'm gonna leave the other box unticked. Okay, so on this permissions uh, thing we need to um, basically give it some permissions and we want it to be a, an administrator. I think that's that's the best way, that's what I do. If you've already got an existing user, you can click copy. If you don't, let's click attach existing policies directly. It's the first one you need, administrator access. Let's just tick that, scroll down and click next review. Yeah, that's fine, create user. And then here's our keys. So now we can uh, stick those into WooZone. I'm gonna Copy that access key there. Go back. Uh, I'm in my WooZone Amazon config here. You get to that through WooZone and Amazon config. It's pretty straightforward. And yeah, you're going to want to make sure that your Amazon location is set to US or UK or whatever site you're promoting. This is where it's going to um, pull down the products from. Uh, you do need to be signed up with the relevant Amazon site. So if it's amazon.com or amazon.co.uk, you need to go over to amazon.com, sign up as an affiliate there. And then if you're doing .co.uk as well, you need to go over to amazon.co.uk and sign up as an affiliate with them too. Um, you can use the same access keys for both, um, but you need different affiliate IDs. Um, generally, most people only promote one site, but sorry, yeah, one country site. But you can do more if you want. And if you do have more, then uh, WooZone has got some nice features where it will kind of show the product availability um, of the product on those different sites. So it can be done. Anyway, let's enter the access keys. So that's the first one. Make sure you've got not got any uh, spaces or anything like that. And then we can add our secret access key, which is just here. Let's click show. Oh, it did highlight it for me. Let's highlight it again. Copy and paste. Now we need to add our Affiliate IDs, I'm gonna to have to go back to Amazon for that. Amazon.com, get into my affiliate place, whatever you call it, dashboard. And my store uh, thing is up there, so I'm just gonna highlight that. I don't want any spaces, I just want the, the word like that. There we go, copy that into my clipboard and then paste it into the relevant one, which is obviously the US for here. But you could, as I say, enter um, your IDs from other countries, but you do need to be signed up, etc., etc. as I just said. My main affiliate ID is US and let's click check. And is it gonna work? Yay! That means it worked, basically. If you get any other error message or whatever, then it's not working, you need to look into what's going on. Generally, because you haven't registered as an affiliate on the right 
site or you haven't added the right permission, that administrator permission that I just did. So so there we, we're all done, the keys are working. Let's download a product and see if that's working. To do that, I'm gonna go to, uh, where am I gonna go to? <laughs> Come on, I know this. I'm gonna go to the insane import mode. I'm gonna download, I know, some drills. Okay, so let's add some drills. I'm only gonna add a handful, I don't want this to drag on. I just wanna check it's working. And I'm sure you guys will know how to add products anyway, don't you? But uh, I'm just gonna filter through some categories rather than use a keyword search. Um, probably be the best way to do it. So let's go to tools. And what we're gonna get. Then we want uh, power and hand tools. And then we want power tools. And then we want drills. Uh, there, I do excuse the baby there if you can hear that. Then, uh, I guess I guess that's fine. Let's, let's see what we get. First page is fine. Best selling, good. Let's go. Oh look, here's a couple of lovely looking drills, and so ten products, ten drills. Perfect, and I'm gonna download images at import. I've found that the asynchronous image download doesn't always work for me, so you don't get any images, which is a bit of a pain. So it's supposed to give you a little bit of extra performance in terms of the import, saves you an extra few seconds, but yeah, I've not got it working, have you? Let me know in the comments. Um, we're gonna do a spin or not, I don't know. Let's not spin today. Or maybe we should spin, let's spin. Let's see what the, uh, the copy looks like when we spun it. If you're not sure what spinning means, basically, the plugin's gonna try and rewrite the descriptions for us. See how that works out. So let's put it into the drills rather than the category from Amazon, otherwise you end up with tons of categories. And and there we go, let's do it now. Do it now. Again, the synchronous products import doesn't work for me. I don't know why. It's gonna take two minutes. Never mind, let's go. Um, but of course, because of the beauty of this video, I can do a little edit, and you don't have to wait for two minutes, 39 seconds. So let's do a little edit. So that's all finished. Um, I did actually just record this, but for some reason it didn't save properly into my editing software, so I'm doing it again. Um, but it means I can't show you the kind of status screen, you know, after the import. But basically it completed successfully. It took about seven minutes. And here are my drills. They're showing in the drills category, perfect. Um, they're all looking good. The images are the right sizes and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, before I wrap up this video, let's just have a look at the description. I mean, I'd be interested to see, um, see what it looks like, because remember I ticked the button to spin the content, so um, in theory, it should be unique content. Let's have a look. So here we go, look. In fact, let me have a look at the, um, what it actually says on Amazon. Let's let's compare and contrast what spun content looks like. Oh, that's not it. I'll copy that. Oh, there it is. Is that it? That's it. So Amazon, on Amazon they say the Black and Decker, blah, 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 call drill with overmolds is ideal for many drilling and driving applications. And on my side, it says the black and decker, blah, 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 cholesterol with overmolds is perfect for plenty of drilling. You see the difference they've done there? They had many. I've got plenty. Mm. So it hasn't completely kind of messed it up with this, but let's, see, let's read some more. This drill includes a variable speed design that delivers as much as 750 RPM for work in a lot of materials. Wow. Okay. This drill features a variable speed design that delivers up to 750 RPM for work in a variety of materials. So again, variety has been switched for a lot. So the spinning is not too severe. It, in fact, it might not even be enough really for Google to see that it's, it's uh, unique content, but it hasn't made it all gibberish. I could probably turn up the spinning a bit more if I wanted to make it more gibberishy, but it's getting the balance between gibberish and unique content as it were. So you try and, you know, I don't want to use the word trick, but I guess that is the word trick Google that you've actually written some, some unique content. The best way is obviously to rewrite it yourself and, and just, you know, make it unique properly, but that's going to take a little while.
But anyway, that's it. I think we're done. The images are in, the keys are working, we're all good. Um, and you know, it should start tracking our our links and when we're sending people over to Amazon and all that stuff. And you know, it's only gonna be a matter of time before we start earning some commission, hopefully. Yeah, but that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope it was useful. I hope your keys and everything are now working and and you've fixed all your problems. If you haven't, then oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, but I'd love to try and help you out. Let me know in the comments below and I will try to reply. I try and reply to as many comments as I possibly can. So yeah, I'll do my best to try and help you out. If you're not already subscribed, I know I already said this at the beginning of the video, I'm going on a bit, aren't I? If you're not already subscribed, then please uh, click on the little eagle. Be good to have you on board. And here is another video from my channel, um, which has been chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.